In May 2010, the streets of Kingston, Jamaica became a war zone. An entire nation brought to a standstill. All because of one man. Christopher Judas Cook, one of the world's most notorious drug traffickers. He is regarded by his supporters as a man who is fulfilling a role that the government doesn't. He provides money to support their children, puts food on their table. He's kind of regarded almost if you like as a Robin Hood figure here. The helicopters throwing grenades on the walls. Are there people in these houses? Yes, people and kids. Children is in the house. One man's arrest has changed an entire country. Since Coke's capture, Jamaica's murder rate has plummeted 32%. The Americans quickly whisked him away to stand trial on conspiracy, drug and gun charges. Charges he has since pleaded guilty to. This Caribbean island is no stranger to the rule of the gangs and the gun. The bloody hunt for coke forced Jamaica's then Prime Minister to resign in disgrace over his ties to the drug lord. To venture into parts of downtown Kingston would be to take your life in your hands. In 2009, the United States of America asked the Jamaican government to extradite the leader of the Shower Posse cartel, Christopher Koch, on drug trafficking charges. Initially, the leader of the Jamaican Labour Party, Bruce Golden, refused to play along. For 30 years, leading politicians have been using gangsters like Koch to dominate their neighbourhoods and deliver votes come election day. In return, they'd be given government contracts, pretty much protection from the, from the law, and the free reign over the neighbourhoods. The JLP had strong ties to the Shower Posse cartel. So when Bruce Golden announced on national television that an arrest warrant was out for coke, gangsters from all over Jamaica headed to, to Villa Gardens and started barricading the area. Once the security forces started their operation in Hunt for Coke, all hell broke loose. Within three days, 76 people had been killed and over 700 arrests had been made. The Valley Gardens is still recognised as the most dangerous place in Jamaica, so join me today as I take a walk through and meet the people that live here. Life is a spiritual being created flesh, because everything is coming back to spirituality, because the body is for a moment, for a time, and it's all going to come back to spirituality. Life and God are always fighting. Their common enemy is the evil that resides within him, within yourself. What the devil will in you, the darkness will in you, will help create you. Division mm -hmm. that starts within, within yourself. The man within the mirror, Michael Jackson. Check yourself and choose good. Not for only yourself. Yeah but for humanity and what i'm seeing happening in jamaica in haiti in trinidad bahamas the, the, the canada united states all around the world humanity is losing so the more love you show is the more love you get yeah, all right look at this the people that are the bigger society they know why you're educated because them people say when you are on to slave when you are express yourself or riches or them are say nothing to you you have a understanding benefits and so them, them, them keep you up on a level where you know we Again. you know live off of what the book said or read because that are just theory we can put all kind of difference in your mind mm -hmm. you want like how me I talk to you you want to learn off a real expedition mm -hmm. Right, so yeah, definitely people know that I'm into Valley Gardens and definitely would have known when uh, Chris Cook was in charge because he had cameras placed all around every entrance into to Valley Gardens so when he knew the movements of everyone coming in and out. What are you up to today? Huh? 
what you what you're doing today, what you're up to. We have an event keeping over here today. Oh, what's what's the event? A pageant. A pageant. It's a festival, yeah. So what is it like? Bands or dancing? Yeah, everything. Oh, sick. Are you entering? No, I'm the I'm the organizer. You're the organizer. Oh, the better play. Who's competing? Is anyone competing? Yeah, she is. Yeah. One of our competitors right here. What are you doing? Are you gonna win? Are you gonna win? Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Sweet brother. What do you recommend? I just fried chicken. Fried chicken. It's a fried chicken, chicken. No, a rasta fried chicken the best here. Yeah, we might have rasta food. Sure. I have rasta food right here. You're the man who knows we're top like that, eh? Yeah, what are you Cheers. Give me that. Right, we go get some rasta food. What would be the best rasta dish that you do? Fish, yeah? Fish stew. Nice one. Right, so check this out. Stewed fish, cabbage, veg. We've got ourselves a bigger. We'll give that a go too. Right, let's give it a go. I I'll tell you what, it's spot on. Not sure what's in it, beans. Stew, and delicious, real fresh. No spicy, just fresh. Hi guys, welcome back to our see you. video. We'll give this bigger a go, this Jamaican. I am Jamaican grape juice. Oh, that's spot on. There's some sugar in that like, but yeah, it's delicious. So Jamaica gained independence in 1962, but by 1963, political leaders were paying off the local gangsters to fight turf wars with their rivals. The JLP actually created Tavali by moving out a slum that was favourable to the opposition and then knocking it down and rebuilding what would become Tavali Garden. And this would be the beginning of the garrison communities. It's said the JLP worked alongside the Shower Posse cartel and they were supported in turn by the CIA who was providing them weapons. By the 1980s, the JLP were well in control of the country. So the money supplied to the Shower Posse cartel started to dry up. And with changes with the DAA's policy on uh, marijuana importations, the Shower Posse cartel turned to cocaine. With the newfound riches from the white gold that is cocaine and the support from the CIA providing training, weapons and even transporting people to and from the USA, the Shower Posse cartel became a powerful force throughout Jamaica. Right, we're right at the edge of the Tavali Gardens now. That cemetery is the, the very border. So we're going to go down here, we're going to go left and then we're going to try to find ourselves a barber. Right, can we actually get out this time? Well, we can. Here we go, look at the 30 pitch. Nice. To be honest, it's a little bit intimidating here. I don't want to get the wrong people on camera or offend the wrong people, so I'm keeping the camera low. We're going to try and meet some people, some boys over here. Let's go see if we can speak to these. What? I'm looking for a decent barber. I'm looking for a barber. Yeah, just straight, straight up here, is it? Yeah. yeah. And go straight up. The last house by the right. Nice one. Just go straight. What one? Are we doing right? I'm fine. What are you dealing with? I'm trying to work out what life is like living in a garrison yeah. community. You want a house? No, I want to know what I want to know what people's stories are we here. We smoke ganja. <laughs> we all smoke ganja. We special, and if you fuck with me, we borrow a police friend gun. Boy. So, General, where you come from? I'm, you come I'm from? from England. England. Yeah, man. Yeah. So. London. No, I'm from the north. Football, soccer. Yeah, man. Which side are your side? Mine is in Middlesbrough. Nice oh, to meet you. Middlesbrough, yeah, I'm in Middlesbrough oh, fan, yeah, so hopefully we're in Premier League next year. I want to go see one of your Premier League games. Oh, you want to watch them? Yeah, yeah. You want to watch one I never watched a Jamaica Premier League game. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not bad, I'm not bad. 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 I'm yeah, you see ball of them, they're not good. Yeah. Tomorrow, <laughs> good man. It's not like London. So they're not good, no? Uh, no not man you style. Complete. No, I'm not. Yeah. No man, you know. I want to play. Who's the best? Who's the best? Is it all luck or is it skill? Who's the best? Yeah. 
best. It's the best, yeah? Yeah, man. But sometimes you use luck too. Yeah, yeah. 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 man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Five, yeah, mate, it's cool, man. Yeah, two years old. Play, 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 we all even like you would love to see Pombak in this place. Mm. You understand? He yeah. is a man of love and he is a man of peace. School, September. Back to school, he gives uniform shoes and allowance. Loving, nice man. What do you say? So he looked after the community, yeah? Beautiful love, yeah. everybody, everybody. The kids dream. The children them get shocked. Bike. The boys them get dolly. We the elderly people. We have a week allowance. You might not get 10 and 20 tons. But you get a little warm with flour, sugar, rice, kami, tin mackerel. Wow. And you get whether a thousand dollars or a two thousand dollars. He was a nice man with so. I really appreciate you talking to me. What do you mean? It's yeah. even my tongue. Come on. What life is like in Tabali and a little bit about what happened in uh, 2010 with uh, the incursion. Well, everybody forget about that. Yeah. Right now, it's just the younger children them trying to build a future for themselves. But all those people gone. Forget yeah. about them. Gone through the border. So, I just like everybody thinking about right here. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, from that, waiting on God us. Because we love God us. You know about nobody else? I love God us. We go to the community. Yeah. No war, no nothing like war right here. You know, people just are living. Anywhere again, you can't help you. Nobody now go to you. Thank you very much. All right, I'll see you later on. Nice to meet you all. Ah, oh, it's a different perspective. So it sounds like he was... Well, he really loved in the community by the sounds of it. Um, giving out treats to the kids, looking after the elderly, the lot. Yes, brother. Right, we're going to try to find the barbers now. Hello? Ah, it's closed. No way. Right, we'll keep looking. I've seen lots of few kids playing, it's been really nice to see them all. Mm -hmm. I've seen the kites, yeah. Look at over here, someone come to home over here, answer, and then we start to talk. We sit now and we them about the public life. So everyone in the community comes together yeah, and looks after each other. In my island. Ah, Welcome you. to Jamaica. Thank you very much. My name is Samuel. Nice to meet you, Samuel. I'm Joshua. Yeah, I'm living over there. Oh, is this your place, is it? Yeah. Nice. And the, the bar right there. Oh, so you're right across the road from him, so you can always yeah. look smart. Okay. <laughs> you know, we have to appreciate strangers at all times. Because you am strange and you are strange. But right now we are friends because <laughs> we meet together. Of course we are. Of course okay. we are. Come here, come in. I, I just have a shop here. First yeah, water we catch, we wash. Huh? What does it mean? It means that. Don't wait on what you don't see. All oh, right, okay, <laughs> go for it. Hello. Appreciate it. I thought they wanted to take that hat off for a few days. <laughs> Get a bit out of hand. So I met earlier on, I was uh, talking to some of the kids and they were fascinated by my hair. As soon as I took my hat off, they wanted to touch it and stuff. I was like, yeah, nice Yeah, they said they'd never seen it before. I like the intrigue that people have. Keep it, open arms, you know? Yeah, of course.
How much of it is a rude boy gangster? I know they're moving on the millions, not a damn thing you could do to. So it's the music that does something that my life is going to mess up. Bro, oh mate, yeah, that was... Let them people know, say, yo, the way of life is love and there's a other way out and do it, gangster, you see. Because quick money bring a quick death, quick imprisonment. Love is the way. If you tell me to fight, break on you, I try to stop it, because I don't like violence. My two things that. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Basketball. Is basketball the main sport around here? Football. Football's the main one, yeah? yeah I was going to say, I haven't seen any basketball courts, but I've seen lots of football yeah, goals and stuff. Yeah, but they want to play football in it now. I used to play that a lot. But yeah. I got hit, I kind of hold it from my hip on my shoulder, see that? Mm -hmm. My shoulder got broken, I have this screw. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah so it kind of lifted me, see, my shoulder apart. But I still play, but I'm not as great as... I've been done for my life, still. But I still have been worse calls. Drive or die. Opposite side of the car for my hippie. So it's a blessing still to be here. Yeah, so you have got times, you know. Been there, done that, you know? Yeah. Once I hurt my family and my friend, and you come, across, you come across me wrongfully, I'm coming back at you. But now I just like, I can't, that's not me. I give myself half an hour, and if I come back down, I'm not going to do nothing. And I pray to, to change my way. I pray for it. If I don't pray for things, it will never happen. You know, once you pray for it, I don't wanna take it back and this is my chance. I see I change. A lot of people know me from back and I know that sometimes I get too soft. You people tell me that. But it's not soft or soft, I get more wiser and much sure. It's good to born where you from. Like England, Canada and America because you guys can go anywhere you guys want to go. I, I grew up unaware that people's passports restricted them as much yeah. as they do. Mm -hmm. I thought it was almost in my ignorance, I just thought you apply for a visa, you get the visa. Exactly. Yeah. So like that was something I, I hadn't even considered in my life. But I don't know what the score is in Jamaica, but I know yeah. when I was in Trinidad, mm. people were saying they need someone in the UK yeah. to request them to come over. And it's, it's all a balloon, of course. Imagine we got Jamaica independence in '1962, right? And but then you could have just go there and apply, and they give it to you, right? Mm. And if England. Is the one the response for us? Why we have to get a visa to go there? Yeah, be like that. You've got the head of state is still the king. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. So, no one is better than no one. We all equal on earth, and we all come here and see mother earth. So why you tell the privilege to travel freely and then some people cannot? If you don't stand as one, you wanna fall. If you stand as one deeper, one beam, then you will be a better place. Bless it, Thousand dollars. Thousand. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. Right, no sweat. Right then, so we've tidied up the sides. I didn't get the top done because so I'm trying to grow it out a little bit. But looking suave, Gary's done a good job. Blessed cuts. If you're ever into Valley Gardens, that's where you go. Right, just to finish off the story about Coke. Obviously, here he's still seen as. Well, a great guy that people love him here. He looked after the communities. Um, but what happened on the day of the incursion, when the security forces tried to come into Tavali, it was fiercely protected. There was even uh, tires on the roofs of some of these buildings here to be used as smoke screens. There were people, the people were going to burn them for the helicopters that were looking over above. Over the three days that the uh, operation went on, 76 people were killed and there were 700 arrests, as I said before. A few weeks later, Coke went to hand himself in, dressed as a woman, and he got caught on the way. He was then extradited and sentenced to 23 years in a federal prison in the USA. But like I say, the people here don't really want to talk about it because he's seen as a bit of a hero here. Thank you for everyone who's been involved again, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.